potential this time making its way out just past over Baxter and it's making its way towards Newton and especially into Kellogg. So the hail core has shrunk a little bit. Uh, I'm going to throw up our, our severe threats. That's what we call it here. Um, tool and you can see this was just a scan ago. It made its way just on the north side of Baxter and now we're continuing to watch that storm make its way to the southeast. Uh, so through Baxter and just to the north of Newton. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit further here and uh, get an idea of uh, street location on that hail. Again, we had two and a half inch hail on this storm. Uh, about 20 minutes to a half an hour ago, so Highway 14 uh, likely picking up on a little bit of that large hail. This is going to be making its way over North 59th Avenue West um, and eventually we'll make this over uh, Sunrise Mobile Home Communities as well. Um, so pretty big storm that's been churning its way through and we've uh, had some strong winds with this, but the main story has been the hail and the heavy rain. Uh, you can see not seeing any of those bright greens. That's typical of the very uh, strong winds. Uh, but hail has really been that main story of the day. So let's look back here at what we saw today up off to the northwest where those storms started to fire. Uh, you can see had an initial funnel cloud with the first storm that we saw. Uh, that funnel briefly lived but made its way back up into the clouds and then we just started seeing hail report after hail report and a whole lot of these reports out of Fort Dodge. They had some reports upwards of around uh, I'd say an inch and a half, if not a little bit bigger there too. Uh, you can see 1.8 inches is the report that we got in. Uh, that's uh, from Fort Dodge or just close to Fort Dodge. So it's been a day for hail out there and we're continuing to see uh, those hailers continue to make their way to the southeast. So I'm going to zoom back out here a little bit for you and we'll drag this across and get that out of the way. Uh, but you can see even stronger storms off to the east here actually had a tornado warn storm out near Cedar Rapids. So still some showers and thunderstorms moving through Ames too. Again, these are sub severe, but I know a lot of people that are hoping for rain and this would be probably the best chance. It's not going to be hitting those areas west of the metro that need it more desperately. Uh, but you can see this line right here. It's called an outflow boundary. It kind of acts as a shovel and just kicks up all those showers and thunderstorms as it moves through. So that'll give the metro a chance in areas like Ankeny. But if you're much west of Perry, not looking like a decent chance for showers for you. Um, and I know I know a lot of people need that rain, but right now not looking like the case. We've been dry all day in the metro downtown clear skies. It's been a pretty nice day and you look at the temperature sitting at 90. So dew point hasn't been too bad. Middle 60s that feels like temperature only at 92 and with a breeze at 16 miles an hour. That's pretty comfortable. Tomorrow though is cooler starting off in the middle 60s. We keep those skies clear all day long. Temperatures climbing back into the middle 80s. So it's not going to get too warm tomorrow in your eight day forecast. We do bring in more rain chances. Thank goodness 88 on Monday and better chances for rain Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures uh, sneak back down into the low 80s by Wednesday, back up into the 90s by Friday and some signs point to a very warm weekend and warmer days after that. So thankfully we've got more chances for rain on the way.